Okay, so uh, I'm gonna pull the water pump. So there's one, two, three, four. Looks like four 10 mil bolts. Expect some uh, fluid obviously to come out. There is an oil ring on this, so be careful not to damage the oil ring. All four bolts are same length. All right, next I'm gonna pull this uh, tensioner. It's a 13 mil. All right, now I'm gonna uh, do the two bolts on the alternator. It's a 15. The lower bolt is much longer. All right, now we're going to pull. There's four bolts on the oil pan. So now we're ready to, uh, should just be unbolting the timing cover, which everything's 10 millimeter and I want to say 13. Yeah. So you have a few 13s, the bigger ones are 13s and then everything else looks like a 10. So what I'm going to do is I know some of these bolts are different lengths. So you obviously need to keep track of what bolt goes where. Um, so I'm going to go get a piece of cardboard and draw this and then put holes in it. So every time I pull a bolt, I'm just gonna stab it in my drawing. I'll be right back. Okay, so you end up with something like this. I drew it and then uh, drilled holes accordingly. So I'm just gonna stab them through this off the side every time I pull something. Okay, got all the bolts out, so uh, let's see what we got. Start gently kind of prying on it. And I'm sure you're going to get So you're gonna have to lift the valve cover side up to clear uh, that sensor on the on that cam. There we go. That's what was holding it. Uh, I don't even know the name of these things. Uh, they're going right on those camshafts with the sensor that's sticking through the valve cover. And that's it. Uh, timing cover is off. So when you're done, grab something like this. Get all the bolts in the right location. Side. Now some of this stuff wasn't already filmed, you know, I already had the manifold pulled, obviously the truck's decabbed, um, but either way, uh, I think there's some other videos on all that stuff, so if you need to watch another video to get to this point, this I'm just trying to be specific on pulling timing cover, um, 
and then doing oil pump gear so uh we'll go ahead and call this part one it's late i'm gonna uh call it a night i'm gonna cover all this up um and then tomorrow we'll get into the nitty-gritty of uh pulling these tensioners which i have some pins or have some pins for them i was showing a trick where you can uh pop the tensioner in and then pin it while it's still bolted on and then unbolt it and it, it'll be pinned in uh and then we'll go step by step on the timing procedure on how to uh how to set the timing before you pull chains and all that stuff so yep stay with me guys uh you guys have any questions just hit me up i'll be glad to help uh stay with me for part two guys peace